2019 may this year bring you new happiness new goals new achievements and a lot of inspiration in your life happy new year guys hi guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here before my name is patricia and if you're not subscribed to me make sure you do because guys i have amazing things coming up and i can't wait to share with you all so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button and keep an eye on it because great things are coming along anyway let's get into today's video we have 10 habits we all need to master to meet our 2019 goals Habit number one prioritize literally guys set your priorities straight make sure like what i mean by setting priorities is like you want to go to the gym but you say i don't have time to go to the gym how about you scrap that don't say i don't have the time just say I, that, I didn't make that my priority because there is 24 hours in the day I'm pretty sure you had half an hour 45 minutes that I could just gone to the gym and worked out so you saying I didn't have time that is a lie guys you just didn't make that a priority so all you have to try and say now from 2019 I didn't make that is not a priority in my life I didn't make that a priority so going to the gym is not a priority in my life but it's gonna be I don't know something like that make sure you set your priority straight and what is priority and what isn't in your life habit number two set boundaries guys if you set your boundaries it'll protect you from people violating you from anyone stepping on you from um people manipulating you this way you will be able to protect yourself from these people also guys don't expect people to change like just change yourself only you can control yourself so if you can change change it don't try to change other people change yourself be direct to people like just be direct like what i mean by that is like say what you mean it and mean what you say that's all be straight with yourself and with everybody else just be direct you can do it having number three get enough sleep we all need enough sleep in life. If you don't get enough sleep, you stress yourself and everyone around you, and you don't want that. So get enough sleep, guys. Literally, enough sleep will keep you concentrated and it will help you throughout the whole, your whole life, like, literally. You need to concentrate, you want to concentrate because you want to get your things done. So get enough sleep, you will have all the concentration you need for your life. Habit number four have a killer morning routine that is so relative number three have a killer morning routine like wake up every day at 7 a.m start the day early guys that's really something i really need to do like i do wake up early but i just stay in bed so get out of bed early do something go to the gym go for a run god knows do whatever you like but get up early set that routine and if you set that as a routine in 60 days literally guys two months if you set your routine it's believed that that becomes natural and then after six days 60 days waking up at 7 a.m it's not going to be a hassle anymore it's just going to be natural like it will literally just come to you so natural that you won't think oh like i'm up again early because it's just something so natural that's gonna come to you so if you keep doing that for 60 days and that will become a habit and that's what we need so habit number five break your time into increments and this is where this bit comes in where i was really excited to show you guys so this is my diary 2019 which i was in love with it and i'm still am because oh, i'm about to show you guys it has the times of the day so from 7 a.m like i said wake up at 7 until 7 p.m so you just plan your day throughout the whole hour by hour and these ways you just you will have your days all planned all the other ones i used to have were just like yeah a little square for the day and just write whatever you feel like but this one actually gives me the times of like time of every hour of the day and that way i can just you know manage everything properly and i love it so yeah guys get yourself one of these anyway guys moving on to habit number six know you want to ask for help guys honestly if you're doing something that will take you so long to just you know figure out what you actually intend to do how about you just stop and ask someone for help like you don't know how to do something it might take you a whole hour to figure out how to do it but if you just went and asked this person that really knows how to do it that would have been like a five minute and the person will have taught you how to do it and this time you will have to ask again so if you do ask people for help also gives the people the chance to have that feeling like oh 
right, I just taught you that, innit? Like, I actually mastered that, I taught you. So if you actually make that something, like you actually helping other people to actually feel good about themselves as well. And you you also get to, you know, learn something quicker than searching. Step number seven, know your peak productive time. Literally, know when you're free, know when you're not free, like master your times, like you know you have to do this today, so make sure at that time you're doing what you actually meant to be doing. So make sure your peak times are all controlled and you know, okay, this is the time I'm really busy and this is the time I'm actually doing that. So this time I'm free, I can change this into there and then spend more time doing this. Like actually guys, this is the way you need to control your life and 2019, 2019 you'll be successful if you just manage to do this habit. Anyway, going to habit eight is know when to say no. Knowing when to say no, this doesn't just apply to people and saying no to people. The biggest one is learning to say no to yourself. Guys, literally 2018 was the year I actually mastered to say no to myself. Like before that, I used to see something and be like, oh, I really like this. And I just want to buy it just for fun, just because I liked it and I wanted to buy it. So I would just spend maybe £25 because it was £10 off. So I saved £10 and I felt good about it. So I would buy it. Maybe I wouldn't, I'm not even going to wear it and I'm not even, and just going to be there. Like I actually have a bunch of stuff that I actually don't use and they knew. And guys, if I didn't spend that £25, imagine every week I save £25 for a month, that's £100. A year, that's £1,200 saved. And guys, that is amazing. So if we, if I actually could manage to save that amount of money a year, that would be amazing, which I don't, which is something we all need to learn to master. I actually haven't mentioned it, but that is something we need to ma master this year, making sure you save up. Habit number 10 is become a master at planning. And this is where we have three steps with this one. No plan B. Guys, I know everybody says, make sure you always have a plan B to play safe. But really and truly, why are we having, why do we have a plan B? A plan B is literally saying you cannot make plan A. So let's just push yourself less and do you go for plan B? Oh, I cannot be bothered to go to the gym today. So I'm going to do some abs at home and that will make a difference. No guys, do not give yourself any plan Bs. Make sure you have your plan A has your priority. Do not set plan b and c and d whatever no just have your plan a and if you focus on that one you will like you actually succeed because you'll be focusing on making sure you succeed that plan a so i'm not saying don't ever have a plan b yeah sometimes you actually have to have a plan b but in certain cases in life you actually don't and we just do that just to make ourselves feel safe which we shouldn't just like make sure you work your heart you ask off for something you really want. So make sure you focus for your plan A. Do not give yourself plan Bs. And number two is write down your goals. And this is where I did this like template here on goals for 2019. And then like, this is where I have, I have written here like main goals, my individual goals, and here's my top three goals. So make sure you write it down, make it clear. Instead of calling your friends and saying, oh, my goal for 2019 is doing this and that. Why are you telling him? Why don't you just go on it and just write it down? Write it down for yourself instead of actually, if you have the need to actually go tell someone, write it down, don't tell anyone. Step number three, and that is the last one, is being positive. Stay positive, guys. You know what, 2019, take all the negative aside from you, stay positive and like, you actually be able to be successful in 2019. That's what I intend to say, yeah. Master every all those things, especially stay positive. That's a very important one, guys. Make sure you stay positive, you stay focused, and you will master and crush all your goals in 2019. And that's all we want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't blab too much. I do hope this video wasn't too long. I'm about to go find out how long it was. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and keep make sure you hit the bell button and subscribe to me for my next video because I have great things coming up so yeah bye bye